I am back. I'm making your um, no-bake peanut butter cheesecake with chocolate crust. I've already put the crust in the refrigerator and that was just mixing some cocoa powder, sweetener, salt, uh, a cup of peanuts, and uh, half a stick of butter. Mix it all together, press it in the bottom of a nine inch cake uh, pan. What I'm doing now is I'm making the thickening. This is a cup of um, unsweetened almond milk and two and a half teaspoons of plain unflavored gelatin like Knox. Right now I'm just gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then I'll come back and give it a stir over some heat that's gonna make our thickener. Um, we have two eight ounce packages of one third less cream cheese. This is not the brand I'm using, so I'm not gonna show you the label, but some peanut butter flour, some sweetener, vanilla, and um, I happen to love the Kroger brand. Um, natural peanut butter. So I'm going to use the natural peanut butter. Um, that's about it. So I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and get these ingredients into my food processor and after I get them measured and then I'll start mixing this together so you can see how quickly this goes. I'll be right back. Okay, what I've done so far is um, I still have that gelatin blooming. I have two packages of um, the one-third less fat cream cheese. Now I'm adding a quarter of a cup of the peanut butter flour, or peanut flour they call it, and a half cup of the Kroger natural sugar-free peanut butter. Mine, I just stirred it, so mine's really loose still. So there's my half a cup. I'm going to put this in the blender as well. I mean the uh, food processor as well. To that, we're going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of mineral salt. I like the pink. We're going to add three quarters of a cup of sweetener. And um, I like to use the Truvia sweetener that's in the uh, little green tub. So I'm going to put in three quarters of a cup of sweetener and just a dash of vanilla. I'll be right back. Okay, what I'm doing here, you can see it just looks like milk. I um, have let that sit for a couple of, min couple of minutes to set up. Now I am heating this nut milk with the gelatin on a medium heat. I've got it right on about five until it starts to simmer. The moment that it simmers, we're going to pull it off the eye and dump it in and process it for just a couple of minutes uh, to mix everything together with my cream cheese and peanut butter and sweetener mix. All right, I'm back again. I have, let me see if this helps a little bit. I have blended, well, that's a little better. I blended my um, milk mixture with the uh, bloomed um, gelatin, and that's gonna give it the thickening. Here is my chocolate nut crust. Again, this was about a cup of nuts, a quarter of a cup of the Hershey's dark chocolate powder, a little bit of sweetener, and some butter. What I'm going to do is pour this into, whoops, let me move this cookbook out of the way, into my crust. You can see it's a nice creamy consistency right now. I'm just going to scrape this out. Okay, we are scraped out. And mm, that is delicious. There's my hubby making some coffee in the background. And here is our pie. I will tell you later tonight how delicious this is. Hope you enjoy it. And like I said, I will put the recipe down on the bottom and all the macros for you for a, I would say an eight to 10 piece. I'll figure it out and let you know. Also, uh, this is a THM recipe, a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. 
and it is an S, meaning that it's more satisfying, a little bit more dense in calories, uh, and higher in fat. Hope you enjoy it. I can't wait to eat it tonight. Bye.